Alright, uh, today we're going to work on limits and multivariable calculus. Uh, we're going to have an emphasis on showing how and why limits do not exist at certain points um, in a 3D function. But first let's just go over a simple limit that you'll see in multivariable calc. Probably actually you won't see too much because it's really easy. Um, if you want to go, the person, oh I just need to get this homework done, here's your solution. Plug and chug. Um, so wherever you see an X, you put a 1. Wherever you see a Y, you put a 1. Um, if you want to understand what we're doing is on the graph here, if you have this function, I don't know, I just like using this one a lot. Um, it's in 3D. You're approaching um, a certain point from one direction and another direction, and you're trying to see if the limit exists at that point. Um, so let's just do the plug and chug method. So 6 times 1 times 1 over 1 squared plus 1 squared, 1 second. So that means you need to get 6 over 2, which is 3. So the limit is 3 when you approach from the x and y direction at 1. Okay, so now we're going to work on a limit that doesn't exist. If you try to do the plug and chug method, um, it won't work. And so you actually have to understand what you're doing. So if you do plug it in, you'll get 0 over 0. Um, and the next step you'll have to do is simply approach um, the function from two different angles. So it's your choice unless they tell you to approach at a certain way. So I'm going to approach along y equals 0 first. So since we're going along y equals 0, that means that um, x is constant. Wait, that means, hold on. So if we do the limit as x, yeah, because x approaches 0. So the, what I did was, um, since we're plugging in y for our function, so that would be x times 0 squared over x squared plus 0 squared, um, I just showed that we're approaching um, from the x direction. And then you plug 0 in, and you'd get 0 over x squared, which would be 0. So. That means we did get a limit, in fact, if you approach along the x direction, the limit is 0. If we approach along another area, say x equals y squared, then it would be the limit as y approaches 0. Oh, wait, y approaches x squared. I am sorry. Wait, no. Thank you, Jarvis. Okay, so same thing. We're just plugging in wherever you see an x, you're going to put a y squared. So that would be y squared times y squared over y squared squared plus y to the fourth and that would give you y to the fourth over 2y to the fourth which these cancel so you would get 1 over 2 1 half that's weird look you had one limit that gave you 0 and another that gave you 1 half that means that since those two numbers are obviously not the same the limit does not exist so, to explain that, you would say, since, okay, I'm just going to say it. So, since you're approaching the limit from two different paths and you get a different answer for each one, the limit does not exist because you're approaching from two different paths and they yielded two different outputs for the limit. Um, and that is why the limit does not exist. And we'll just stop there. <laughs>